Kuwait Society of Engineers was established almost 45 years ago in November 20, 1962, and it was the first public service society in Kuwait. Its great achievement served the country, community, and engineers. In the past few years, it caused a quality improvement in the field of profession, engineers, and community. Perhaps one of the best advantages of this society is to make work more institutional and well-organized. However, the level of participation was increased in more than one aspect. The achievements are categorized into four main cores. First, engineer service. Second, profession service. Third, community service. Fourth, administrative activities and communication with the political leadership. A number of colleagues who has the expertise and competency have led the society, starting from engineer Muhammad Abdul Hamid Al Khalaf to engineer Talal Mitla Al Gahtani, who is the head of the society nowadays. In addition to the above mentioned local services, KSE also helped in establishing the Federation of the Arab Engineers in 1963. The former president of the society, engineer Adil Jarallah Lakhrafi, is holding the presidency of the federation now. Since 1997, KSE have launched the idea of creating and establishing the Gulf Forum Engineering and the forum has completed its tour around the Gulf Cooperation Council GCC. One of the most prominent achievements of the society other than serving the profession engineers community is establishment of specialized training programs, establishing a number of induction interviews, engineering competition and the establishment of specialized link to all disciplines of engineering and support student project in the College of Engineering and Petroleum. Establishing exhibition and specialized services such as tourism exhibition and fair housing exhibition. Also, it hosted the architecture conference Tawajjo and hosted the regional forum of the organization of the Aga Khan in 2005. In addition to hundreds of specialized seminars and lectures, leading the engineers providing services to citizens and community in general. The most important seminar is the one held in National Assembly of Kuwait concerning the technical difficulties facing the country. KSE led the largest national campaign to reduce energy consumption in Kuwait under the leadership of the chief engineer Talal al gahtani which was adopted by the Council of Ministers in the state of Kuwait. It was a successful campaign. The participation and the achievement of the society in building Kuwait is obvious and numerous, and no one can ignore the role of the society in serving Kuwait. Kuwait, from a nation of pearl divers and spice merchants to one of the world's largest oil exporters. Kuwait has undergone many exciting transformation. Kuwait society is truly a modern and yet it remains true to its heritage and tradition. A highly urbanized state, Kuwait offers a host of attraction and services to tourists and visitors to the country. It offers a world-class experience in hospitality through its small yet strong hotel industry. Kuwait has a very rich culture, tradition and heritage. Kuwait 
visitors to the country can get glimpse of these of the fascinating places of tourist attraction. The shopping experience in Kuwait too is a very rewarding from ancient soup to sprawling malls selling the latest consumer goods. The range of variety is huge. The transport system is ultra modern with the latest feature and facilities. Kuwaitis are warm, friendly, and helpful, which make a visit to the country a very memorable experience. Visitor and tourists of Kuwait will first meet the Kuwait International Airport, which is located 16 kilometers south of Kuwait City, with a size of 65,000 square meter terminals model after a B747 and considered a cutting edge design in 1980. The airport is handling more than 100 flights per day during the busy summer season and rank one of the world's best airports for on-time performance. The duty-free area is equipped with all the services and facility a tourist could need from banks and business service center to shopping and medical area. There are more than 20 hotels in Kuwait, including the Transit Hotel at the airport. These are officially classified as deluxe, first class and second class. All hotels are located on strategic places, such as seafront and downtown, taking maximum 15 to 20 minutes from the airport.